Scaffold, Safety Interview S and Answers. What is scaffolding? Scaffolding is a temporary working platform to provide supports both men and materials for working place. It is used in maintenance, construction and demolition work etc. What are the points to be checked while green tagging erected scaffolding? Before using a scaffold check the tag, 7 days validity. Green tag we can use the scaffold and red tag for not use and yellow tag use only for scaffolding works. Level and firmness of the ground. Sole plate. Base plate. Standards. Ledger. Transom. Couplers. Planks, boards. Toe boards. Brazing. Guard rails. Mid rail. Outriggers. Ladders. Types of scaffoldings. Permanent scaffolding. Hanging scaffolding. Suspended scaffolding. Mobile scaffolding. What is potential hazards of scaffolding? Collapse of scaffolding. Falling from height. Falling object. Slip and trip hazards. Pinch point hazards, sharp edge. Opening without guardrail. Scaffold erection during storm or high winds. Raining and poor visibility. Blocking emergency access and walkways. What is the cause of scaffolding failure? Slipping of unsecured ladder. Use of unsuitable scaffold or faulty materials. Inadequate or irregular platform width. Omission of guard rails or tow boards. Failure to proper secure the scaffold to the building or to brace it adequately. Overloading on the scaffold platforms. What are basic components of scaffolds? Base plate. Sill boards. Screw jack. Couplers. Vertical tubes or bearer also call little edges. Horizontal tubes or ledges also call lead standards. Transoms connected across. Handrails mid rails. Tow boards. Platforms. Ladder. Diagonal bracings for stability. What is the precaution during scaffolding erection? Scaffolding erection, dismantling should be done under the supervision of a competent person, scaffolding supervisor. Red tag means danger do not use and green tag means scaffold complete ready for use when completed. Gap between boards, planks should be 1 inch, 25 millimeters. Top guard rail. Mid rail and tow boards should be provided. Guard rails and tow boards shall be fitted to the inside of standards. Guard rail should have a height between 915 mm, 0.9 meters or 90 centimeters or 3 feet, to 1143 mm, 1.15 meters or 39 inches. Tow board should be 6 inches. 15 centimeters high and secured with tow board clips if scaffold to be erected on soft ground should be used sole plate workers shall be not work on scaffolds during storms or high winds or poor visibility sole plate shall extend under at least two standards base plates with screw jacks should be proper scaffold leveling adjustment all standards shall be vertical Ledgers shall be securely fixed to standards couplers. Scaffolds should be properly braced by cross bracing or diagonal braces or both for securing vertical members together. 
Access ladder must be provided for any platform and clamped with scaffold structure. Ladder should be 4 to 1 ratio and angle 750. Ladder should be rise 1 meter, 42 inch, above from the landing place, platform. Scaffold should be not obstruct access to, from any firefighting equipment, emergency equipment, operating aerial equipment, instrument and control panels, ladders, stairways etc. Scaffold platform opening should be secured with guardrail and signboard. All scaffolding couplers should be tightened. What is a putlog in scaffolding? Putlog holes or putlock holes are small holes in the walls of structures to receive the ends of poles, small round logs, or beams, called putlogs or putlocks, to form scaffolding. Putlog holes may extend through a wall to provide staging on both sides of the wall. What is a scaffold builder? If you enjoy working outdoors and at high elevations, a job as a scaffold builder, also known as a scaffold erector, may be a good fit. Scaffold builders are responsible for building and taking down scaffolds and temporary structures for buildings and ship structures. What is scaffolding in construction work? Scaffolding also called scaffold or staging, is a temporary structure used to support a work crew and materials to aid in the construction, maintenance and repair of buildings, bridges and all other man-made structures. What is the purpose of scaffolding in construction? Scaffold, in building construction. Temporary platform used to elevate and support workers and materials during the construction, repair, or cleaning of a structure or machine. It consists of one or more planks of convenient size and length, with various methods of support, depending on the form and use. What are the types of scaffolding? Following are types of scaffolding in construction. Single scaffolding, double scaffolding, cantilever scaffolding, suspended scaffolding, dressel scaffolding, steel scaffolding, patented scaffolding. What is the scaffolding? Scaffolding is a temporary structure to support the original structure as well as workmen used it as a platform to carry on the construction works. Types of scaffolding varies with the type of construction work. Scaffolding is made up of timber or steel. It should be stable and strong to support workmen and other construction material placed on it. What is single scaffolding? Single scaffolding is generally used for brick masonry and is also called as brick layers scaffolding. Single scaffolding consists of standards, ledges, putlogs etc., which is parallel to the wall at a distance of about 1.2 meters. Distance between the standards is about 2 to 2.5 meters. Ledges connect the standards at vertical interval of 1.2 to 1.5 meters. Putlogs are taken out from the hole left in the wall to one end of the ledges. Putlogs are placed at an interval of 1.2 to 1.5 meters. What is double scaffolding? Double scaffolding. Double scaffolding is generally used for stone masonry so, it is also called as mason's scaffolding. In stone walls, it is hard to make holes in the wall to support putlogs. So, two rows of scaffolding is constructed to make it strong. The first row is 20 to 30 centimeters away from the wall and the other one is 1 meter away from the first row. Then putlogs are placed which are supported by the both frames. To make it more strong rakers and cross braces are provided. This is also called as independent scaffolding.
What is cantilever scaffolding? This a type of scaffolding in which the standards are supported on series of needles and these needles are taken out through holes in the wall. This is called single frame type scaffolding. In the other type needles are structured inside the floors through the openings and this is called independent or double frame type scaffolding. Care should be taken while construction of cantilever scaffolding. Generally cantilever scaffoldings are used under conditions such as when the ground is not having the capacity to support standards, when the ground near the wall is to be free from traffic, when upper part of the wall is under construction. What is suspended scaffolding? Suspended scaffolding, in suspended scaffolding. The working platform is suspended from roofs with the help of wire ropes or chains etc. It can be raised or lowered to our required level. This type of scaffolding is used for repair works, pointing, paintings etc. What is dressel scaffolding? Dressel scaffolding, in dressel scaffolding. The working platform is supported on movable tripods or ladders. This is generally used for work inside the room, such as paintings, repairs etc. up to a height of 5 meters. What is steel scaffolding? Steel scaffolding. Steel scaffolding is constructed by steel tubes which are fixed together by steel couplers or fittings. It is very easy to construct or dismantle. It has greater strength, greater durability and higher fire resistance. It is not economical but will give more safety for workers. So, it is used extensively nowadays. What is patented scaffolding? Patented scaffolding, patented scaffoldings are made up of steel but these are equipped with special couplings and frames etc. These are ready-made scaffoldings which are available in the market. In this type of scaffolding working platform is arranged on brackets which can be adjustable to our required level. What does a scaffolder do? Scaffolders plan, build and erect scaffolding and working platforms for construction projects as well as building stands and tiered seating for public events such as concerts or sporting events. What is a scissors card? Workers in the scaffolding sector require the construction industry scaffolders record scheme card, or the scissors. The scissors card proves that you are competent to the level specified by the card and that you have passed the relevant CSCS health, safety, and environment test. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.